Do you remember a time where you used to rock up to your friend's living room, take off your bags after school, turn on the TV, turn on your console, but you didn't pick up a controller? Oh no, you picked up something that looked incredibly similar to this. So what is this I'm holding? Well, it's none other than the PDP Riffmaster Guitar Controller Peripheral. The first one in eight years, and it's made to be fully compatible with the likes of Rock Band 4 and in the near future, Fortnite Festival. I've been having a bash on it over the past week or so, getting familiar again with what it is to hold down frets, play the strum bar, and have a little whammy with the whammy bar in order to get back into the swing of what it's like to play a music rhythm game. Now, as you can probably already tell, the Riffmaster is quite a decent size, but despite its length, it is very lightweight, it's totally wireless, and the version I have is fully compatible via wireless USB adapter with PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, and PC. Now, you're probably sat there wondering, hey, Aaron, there's not a lot of rhythm games available to play on PlayStation 5, let alone PS4 these days, and you'd be right. Really, the only modern example that is available to play right now is none other than Rock Band 4. But you may have remembered last December, Epic caused an uproar when not only did they release their own version of Rocket League built into the very fabric of Fortnite, they also released Fortnite Festival, a very stripped back version of the Rock Band and Guitar Hero games of old built into the fabric of Fortnite all also, which PDP, the manufacturer and developer of the Riffmaster, is hoping to be fully compatible very soon. On the surface, there's not too much different with the Riffmaster compared to the guitar peripherals of old, the kind you used to see built in with the likes of Guitar Hero Metallica, Rock Band 2, and so on. You have your standard green, red, yellow, blue, and orange frets on the top of the neck, complete with faux headstock. You also have the strum bar, the whammy bar, and obviously the D-pad and other buttons to let you navigate the in-game menus. Crucially though, a nice touch which I came to adore with the Riffmaster is there is an analog button on the back of the headstock, making it even easier to select songs or navigate your in-game PS5 and PS4 menus. Even neater, however, is the way PDP has seen fit to integrate another set of frets towards the base of the neck near the guitar body to really let you mimic being a rock god when the time comes to power through an electric solo. And while we're on the subject of the frets, I will say that the frets themselves are very tactile, satisfying to hold down. Pulling off chords and hammer-ons and pull-offs are incredibly easy using the Riffmaster. What I'm less a fan of is the spongy nature of the strum bar. When you tap it down or flick it up when trying to hit the notes along the virtual runway, I most certainly never failed to have them register, but the actual satisfaction of hitting them was a little bit dulled by the fact of how spongy and light it is. Now I know exactly why PDB has done this, they were worried that if they made the click too loud it would blast over the music that you're trying to listen to, but I think this is a bit of a mistake given the fact that Guitar Hero controllers really excelled in this area, and if I had to liken the Riffmaster to either of the two franchises, this would very much be closer to a Rock Band guitar, which I guess makes sense seeing as Rock Band 4 is the main game you'll be using this one with. Now, as I mentioned, the Riffmaster is entirely wireless and PDP is promising that from a single charge, the Riffmaster will net you up to 36 hours of playtime. I wasn't able to fully test this given that I've only had a week with it, but true to its word, I've not had to charge the device again after that initial time. So what do you get out of the box? Well, it's all very neatly presented with the headstock, neck and guitar body all attached separately to begin with. Break it out of the box though, you'll notice you have a strap, the USB receiver and charge cable, as well as the three main components needed to build your guitar. The headstock snaps into the main neck relatively easily, as does the neck into the body. But one of my favorite features about the Riffmaster is something that the plastic peripheral guitars of old never thought to build in, is the foldable feature. So you can see I've got a little nook here right on the back near the base of the guitar's neck. And if I flick that upwards, whenever I wanna travel around a friend's house or I need to party and rock out on my guitar on the go, it simply folds with incredible ease, really helping you to take it around other places. Another great feature is the fact that the frets are so wide on the neck that you can indeed use this for left-handed as well as right-handed guitarists, and I'd say the result is very natural for each. As far as third-party music accessories go then, there's not too much to complain about outside of the relatively spongy strum bar, which I promise I won't go on about for too much longer. The other main issue right now as I speak to you on this video is what I mentioned at the beginning. It's no secret that the main reason that PDP are starting to make peripheral guitars again, the first one in eight years, is the 
fact that Fortnite Festival is here. But the one problem is, is that the decision about what's compatible with Fortnite Festival doesn't lie with PDP, it lies with Epic. And even though Epic has already announced that Rock Band 4 compatible guitars will indeed support Fortnite Festival in the near future, we currently have no idea as to when that will be. So if you were to pick up the Riff Master, then you're pretty much stuck playing Rock Band 4 until Epic makes its move. But having said that, while I obviously wasn't to test the Riff Master out with Fortnite Festival, it worked perfectly enough with Rock Band 4. Some of you may remember that there was indeed one Guitar Hero game that released for PS4, which the Riff Master is technically also compatible with. That game, however, just so happened to be Guitar Hero Live, and it didn't follow the traditional lined 5 fret setup, going for a 3 over 3 fret style, which means that the Riff Master really isn't going to help you here. But having said that, that is not PDP's fault, and they are definitely playing to the crowd. You can tell that as well with the colour of the product. They've gone for a really neutral black, which boring potentially but during a time where they're still testing the waters as the music rhythm genre's popularity makes its comeback i for one can't blame them the last thing i'll mention about the riff master is obviously price well right now it's advertised at a standard msrp stateside at 129.99 dollars now this is where it doesn't quite cut the mustard for me because back in the day you used to be able to pick up the guitar peripheral and the game for around about a similar price if not slightly less so there's no denying that this is very much a premium product designed to cater towards a niche audience just how successful will this be i don't know but i think 130 dollars give or take is just a bit too high and i know the idea is that when fortnite festival becomes compatible you have a game that's completely downloadable for free but this isn't how it used to be back in the day so overall guys if i had to score the pd Riff Master Guitar Controller Peripheral right now, I would probably give it a 4 out of 5. It's a solid product, delivering tactile feel on the frets, a nice lightweight design that's suitable for left and right handed guitarists, 36 hours of battery life. The only real downfall in terms of performance, like I said, is that strum bar which feels a lot more like a rock band controller as opposed to the Guitar Hero controllers that I was mainly useful, and you do have that question regarding Fortnite Festival compatibility. As I said, definitely coming, but who knows? knows when. When you throw in the fact that there's really only one PlayStation 5 music rhythm game it's compatible with, I totally get it if the Riff Master isn't the top of your priority list right now. So there you have it guys in terms of my full review thoughts on the PDP Riff Master. What do you think about the first guitar peripheral to be released and manufactured in 8 years? Are you excited? Do you plan on picking it up? Was I wrong about Rock Band controllers being worse than the Guitar Hero ones? Be sure to let me know in the comment section below. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, be sure to leave it a like and consider subscribing to the Mirror Gaming YouTube channel to stay up to date with even more videos like this. Until then, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to rock on.